Hi everyone and welcome to the home date. In this video I'm going to walk you through preparing a complete meal for a nice intimate evening at home with a special someone. Everything is timed so you can serve the meal all at once and spend less time cooking and more time enjoying the evening. In this episode we'll make taqueria style steak tacos with rice, black beans, and corn. And for dessert trust lettuce cake. This is a fairly simple recipe that most people can tackle. I actually recorded and posted a version of this video in the past but my video skills weren't that great so I tried doing the edits again to see if I could do better. There there will be a brand new video coming out soon, which I think you'll like as I've learned a lot in the time that has passed since then. So please subscribe and click on the notification icon to see when it comes out. This meal for two is going to be prepared in batches. You'll make the cake and marinate the steak the night before. You'll top the cake with whipped cream the morning of the dinner, or even better, an hour or so before your guest arrives. And then finally, the main prep and cooking when your guest is there. Make sure to check out the blog post linked in the description below to get a full list of ingredients, detailed instructions, as well as a shopping list. Let's get started. The night before, we'll get the cake ready because it needs to be refrigerated overnight. This is a fairly easy cake to make and you can mix it by hand but I decided to use a mixer. Try to get the butter out of the fridge about 30 minutes before you plan to start so it can start to soften. Preheat the oven to 350 degrees Fahrenheit. In a bowl, start mixing the flour and baking soda together. I like to use cake flour for this but you can use all purpose flour too. Cream the butter and sugar together until it's well incorporated and has a light color and a fluffy texture. If you forgot to let the butter soften like I always do, Boil two cups of water in the microwave, then place the butter in with the hot water, keeping the door closed and waiting 10 minutes or so. Don't turn the microwave back on, just let the heat of the water warm up the butter. Add the eggs in one at a time. Make sure the last one is fully mixed in before you add the next. After the eggs, add one teaspoon of vanilla extract. Now we mix the dry and wet ingredients together. Don't mix it to death or stress out over a few lumps. Just make sure the ingredients are fully incorporated. To help the cake come out or the pan easier, we'll grease the 13 by 9 inch pan with butter. Then we'll pour the batter into the pan. It may seem like it's not enough, but once it rises, it'll be fine. Just make sure you tilt the pan around, shake it a little, and tap it a few times on the counter to get the batter evenly distributed on the bottom of the pan. Place the pan in the oven for 30 minutes or until the top turns golden brown. While the cake is baking, I'll start the marinade for the skirt steak. I'm just using a packet of taco seasoning to make things simple. I mix it with water and some olive oil. Normally I'd use a zip top bag here to marinate, but I ran out of them so I added extra water to be able to cover the steak in the bowl. This goes into the fridge to marinate until tomorrow night. The cake still has some more time to bake, so it's a good time to start washing some of the dishes. It's been 30 minutes and our cake is ready, so we'll take it out of the oven and start making the milk sauce while it cools. This is very easy. Just add one can of condensed milk, one can of evaporated milk, and two cups of regular milk in a bowl and whisk to combine. I'm using 2% milk here, but use whatever you have available. After the cake has cooled a few minutes, we'll poke the top with a fork repeatedly to help the milk sauce penetrate the entire cake. Slowly ladle the milk mixture over the entire cake, cover it with plastic wrap, and let it chill in the fridge. Depending on your schedule, you can top the cake with whipped cream either in the morning of your dinner or an hour or so before your date arrives. Make sure your cream and bowl are cold to make whipping easier. Once the heavy cream starts to get a little thick is when I like to add the sugar. Then I'll add the vanilla near the end. Don't go too far or you'll start to make butter. If you're doing this by hand, it shouldn't take more than about 5 minutes. Spread the whipped cream over the top of the cake as evenly as you can. Don't worry if it's not perfect, it's still delicious. Cover it with plastic wrap and put it back in the fridge. Before your guest arrives, start to prep your toppings. I like to cut up some lime wedges, dice up some tomatoes, some onions, the tomatoes and onions will also be used for the beans, and finally slice up some jalapeno peppers. At this point, we're about 15 to 20 minutes away from having dinner ready, so you can wait for your guests to arrive before doing anything else. Use the time to put out some chips and salsa as an appetizer so they have something to munch on while you finish dinner. When your guest arrives, pour them a drink if you're serving alcohol. You can go with your favorite Mexican beer or a nice Shiraz or Sinfidel if you'd prefer wine instead. Start with the rice since that takes the longest. Add it to a small pot along with water. Some salt and pepper to taste. Once the water starts boiling, cover the pot and move it to the back burner on low heat to simmer. Set an alarm for 15 minutes and use this to time the rest of the meal. Now put the steak on a pan and get it under the broiler. 
Keep an eye on the timer you set up for the rice. After 5 minutes, you'll want to flip the steak, and it should be ready in 10 minutes total. Check the temperature with the meat thermometer and make sure it's 130 degrees for medium rare or however you like it. Let's turn our attention to the beans and corn. In a small saucepan, start to saute some onions and olive oil. Add some chopped tomatoes. I'll also pour out the juice from the tomatoes so the tomatoes used for toppings are drier. For simplicity and speed, we're going to use canned black beans and corn. Drain and rinse them and add them to the pot and continue to simmer over medium heat until you're ready to serve. Warm up the tortillas by placing them on a plate, covering them with a damp paper towel, and microwaving them for about 30 to 60 seconds. If you put the steak in right after you started simmering the rice, it should be ready about 5 minutes before the rice is ready. Take out the steak and let it rest until the rice is done. Once the timer goes off, turn the heat off for the rice and beans and move them over to a cool burner while you slice the steak. I love these flexible cutting boards, but I wish I realized how much they slide around when slicing meat before I filmed this. A wood cutting board that won't slide around is probably a better choice. When you slice the meat, make sure you slice it across grain. I probably should have waited a few minutes before slicing. All the food is ready and it's time to serve. Put two tortillas on a plate and add some meat to them. You can add toppings yourself or let your guests add what they want. For me, I'll add some tomatoes, some onions, some jalapenos, and some salsa. I'll have lime wedges on the table to squeeze over the tacos. I'll add some rice and the bean and corn mix to each plate, and that's it. A pretty nice taco night at home with a delicious tres leches cake for dessert. And this wasn't too hard to make. The next video should be coming out soon, and should be a lot better since I learned a lot more about video editing since then. To watch it when it comes out, click the subscribe button, then the bell icon to get notified when it's posted. If you enjoyed this video, please hit the thumbs up button and leave a comment below. Let me know how making this dinner went for you.